Hi, I'm Carl from Carl's Corner, and we're back with part two of our PM8000 video where we're going to look at some of the basic setup functionality from the front panel of the meter. Let's go to the meter. All right, so you see now that the meter is in its default state, which is the summary screen. To get into the setup screens, we're going we're to hit this home button, and then we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom of the menus till we get to the setup menu. Then we'll press the check arrow over here on the right to select that. And then we'll see, we'll take a quick look at what's available in terms of setup for the, this meter from the front panel. We have meter setup, communication setup, uh, display setup, date, time, clock setup, alarm setup, language setup, time of use, resets, and finally the password setup. Now I'm not going to go through every single menu here, but I will go through the most common ones that you need to, to set the meter up to get it uh, connected to the system. Okay. So, back into the setup menu. If we go down to meter setup and select that, then you're going to see that we have a volts mode and the phase order on the first uh, screen. Now, this particular meter is not connected to load, so we're running it in demo mode. If, this me if you have a meter that's actually connected to load, it would never be in demo mode. So, if we press the little gear here, and we have to enter the password, the default password for all ion meters is zero. We hit the checkbox, and then it lets us go in and select another voltage mode. So, for example, if I wanted to change this to 4-wire Y, I would highlight that, check the box. It's going to say, are you sure? And I'll hit the check arrow once more. And now that you can see that I've changed it to 4-wire Y, and I've tripped some type of uh, alarm because this doesn't have a load on it. Okay. So, I'm going to quickly change that back to demo for the rest of our demo purposes. And then we're going to scroll down here and I'll show you. Then you can also see here's where you change the PT and CT settings for the particular meter. Okay, so if you're using PTs or CTs, this is where you go in and enter the primary and secondaries for your PTs and CTs. There's also a provision here for the I4 CT, or which would be the neutral CT if it's been wired up. That's a separate wire on the bottom, on the back of the meter. And we scroll through. You can also change voltage polarity and current polarity. So what that means is if the meter has already been installed and buttoned up, and you find out that somebody has made an error, has switched, a, has reversed the polarity on a CT, that you can go in here and change the polarity electronically. This is a very handy feature. But with power comes responsibility. So if you go in here and change the polarity, and maybe say until the next time you take a shutdown and you can actually correct the wiring, I would recommend that you put some kind of tag or red tag this to let people know that this, the polarity of this particular meter has been altered. But it will allow it to meter correctly in the meantime until you can correct the actual physical wiring. Okay. And okay, so. PT and CT settings, polarity for voltage and current. You also have some settings for nominal values. What is your voltage and your current nominal and your nominal frequency? So those are all your basic metering values that are available under that menu selection. If we go back up one, the next most important thing is the comm setup. So if we arrow down and go into comm settings, this is where you're able to set up your Ethernet connection or your IP addresses. Okay, So there's, of the three models of the PM8 that are in the new line, all of them come factory with um, Ethernet connectivity. So you're all going to have this. So this is where you go in and either you know this or you get this information from your IT group, the IP address, the subnet mask, and the gateway address. Now the MAC address is unique to this particular device. Sometimes your IT group would like to have that. So this is where you can find that particular piece of information. Okay. Then you also have some other parameters, um, some Ethernet setup parameters for a web server, because this has embedded web pages if you wish to use those, uh, domain name server, and some other more advanced settings. But then if you scroll down, you get into the comm setup. So this meter has Ethernet connectivity into it, but it also has a one comm port. And this is where you go in and set that what the protocol is, the baud rate, uh, and the other parameters there, the ID, and that. 
and it can support network time protocols, uh, SMTP, which is Simple Mail Transport Protocol. All that is under the COM settings for this particular meter. Okay, display setup, if we go in there, you're going to see it gives you a timeout for the, the backlight timeout. So this, in this case, uh, it's 300 seconds is what it takes for the, the backlight to, to dim. You can change that. You can also change the phase labels, uh, the different conventions, whether it's I, IEEE or IEC, uh, the way the numeric resolution is on the front panel on the screen here. And that's all for the display setup. Now, if um, you may remember that I said that you can have custom screens on this. If you're going to do custom screens, you're going to have to do that through ION setup. Okay. So that's really all. Like I mentioned before, you have some other settings that are available in the menu from the front panel. You can do date and time setup from the front panel, which I don't really recommend because usually the server will handle that if it's set up properly. Um, you also have the alarm setup which is much easier done from the ION setup tool. Language setup, you only need to do that once. Time of use, resets, password, um, all those things. What I recommend is that you do the, you check your CTs and PTs from the front panel when you're installing the meter. Uh, and you also do your comm settings. But once the comm settings are done, you can use a free piece of software called ION setup to do the rest of the setup from a, either from a local you know, just plug your laptop into the meter right here, or you can go back to the engineering office and handle that there as well. Okay. This concludes the basic setup overview for the PM8000. Thanks for joining us, and be safe.